Hi, VC, it's Aaron, Mutha Alamere, and today I am counting down my top 60 records that I own of 1985, and another really great year. Um, I took a hiatus from this series uh, during the holidays, because it, it, this series actually, um, these videos take quite a bit of time to put together, going through, finding all the records from that year, because uh, there's not really any set thing. And then, like, if you look through Discogs, any kind of represses don't say the actual year. It takes a lot of time to try to figure it out. And I noticed uh, a couple of my past uh, season, past um, videos, I missed a, a, a couple key ones here and there. Like, last year, I missed a really big one, and I was kind of upset I missed it. And so I'm taking a little more time doing these now to throw them together since uh, I've got so many records from the 80s and 90s. So I'll just get started here. Um, this is 1985. Uh, great year for music again. I mean this the 80s were just amazing and so starting off number 60 I've got King Cro King Cobra with ready to strike really great record um, It's kind of you know, I call this stuff metal. I, I call all the stuff that was metal when it was out Metal still so there's the label and this is really cool. It's got Carmen Apice on the drums um, And really cool right there is Mick Sueda the guitarist from Bullet Boys, so he was in King Cobra first. Also got Johnny Rod there, the bass player that was in um, in Wasp for a bit and a couple other bands. He played on the Headless Children. Uh, really, really good rocking album here. I like it a lot. Good stuff. So King Cobra number sixty, number fifty nine, another really great band. You know this whole list is just great. There's just I left off a bunch of ones I wanted, but I, I don't want to go over sixty. It's just long enough as it is so um, I got Y&T down for the count really good Y&T record I'm a big fan of them of course this has summertime girls on it really uh, one of their biggest hits if not their biggest hit probably is uh, really good album all the way through you know I'm not a big fan of the cover your mama don't dance but you know it's all right but other than that this is a great record uh, Dave Manichetti is just a beast on the vocals and guitar really good stuff here Y&T down for the count great record Okay, at number 58, and this would have been higher, but it's only three songs, <laughs> but it's really good. This is Exciter with Feel the Knife. It's an EP, and um, I'm really getting into Exciter. They're a really good band. I'm really enjoying them. This has uh, just got Feel the Knife and In Violence and Force and Pounding Metal on back, uh, Side B Live, and they are amazing sounding. This is this album shreds. I love Exciter. I mean, music for Nations, and um, yeah, I like this album a lot. Really good EP there, or maxi single, whatever you want to call it. But it's good enough that it made it into this list. Okay, at number 57, we've got In Excess with Listen Like Thieves. Really solid record. Maybe my favorite record by them. You know, Kick was the biggest seller, but I think I might like this one a little better. Um, really good Australian rock band. You know, this has got What You Need on it. You know, Kiss the Dirt, that's a good one. Good album all the way through. Michael Hutchins and company. Pretty good album here. And at number 56. Now this album here, when it came out, it was the biggest thing probably of that year. And I think they won like Best Artist of the Year, won all this stuff, and then they just totally faded out of after this record. But I still enjoy this one. This is the Mr. Mr. Welcome to the Real World. Pretty good. It had a Curie and um, what is the other ones on here? Um, is It Love? Broken Wings was their biggest hit probably. That was a huge one. That's a good song. Um, and then they just kind of, they were just on top of the world with this album. Just kind of faded out. They had a couple more albums, but none of them came close to matching the success of this one. But it, I still enjoy this. Still a good record. Okay, at number 55. This is a really good one here. This is uh, Trash with Burning Rock. Really good. Um, you know, this is pre, right when the what people call hair metal was starting 85 is about the beginning of where it's really coming in and they're, they're that type of band you know that look at there's the look there they are you know that's the typical 80s metal band but this is a really good album the boogie woogie man is so good rock me uh, rock me rock you this is a great record i really love this album it's trash with uh burning rock okay at number 54 this is uh, Branded and Exiled by Running Wild. Really getting into them. I've got a few records of them. Really liking them. Great band. Killer, killer music. Great musicians. Really good record here. I just listened to this one yesterday again, and I really enjoy it. Great record. 
on Combat. Combat's good. <laughs> Combat from the 80s, really good label. But, you know, Gods of Iron, I love that song. I love this whole album. This is a really good album here, Running Wild. At number 53, we got um, this album I wasn't really into when it came out, even though the, the hits were, were big, but I appreciate it more the older I get. This is Songs from the Big Chair from Tears for Fears. Of course, I had Shout on it, which has been redone a couple times, and, um, you know, uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Head Over Heels, a bunch of big hits off it. Pretty good stuff here. They were kind of underrated, I think, on this theory. Every time I see that label, I think of uh, 80s Kiss. <laughs> so, Tears for Fears at number, where does that, number 53. So, 52, this is a really good one. I have two versions of this record. I have a repress, and this is an original. It still has some marks on it from the previous owner. It was marked all his records, and it really drives me crazy. And the black marker ones, I can't get off all the others I did. But this is Thor, Only the Strong. This is probably, um, of the three Thor records, I have my least favorite, but it's still a great record. I really love Thor. Great album um, for, and uh, he had a female singer with him, Pantera, at this point. This is pretty cool. And this is a good record. I mean, I love all Thor stuff. I'm a big Thor fan. Road, uh, Roadrunner Records, really great, great, great stuff here. Okay, at number um, 51, another EP here. And I really like this. I've always liked this. It's my least favorite thing he did, but it's still, I really like it a lot. It was Crazy from the Heat from David Lee Roth. You know, I, I really like Coconut Grove a lot. I see, of course, that California Girls and Just a Gigolo, and also Easy Street, which I really like. This is a big departure for him. Uh, it's not one of his rockin' heavy records, but it's still really good, and I really love David Lee Roth's vocals. Always have. Uh, he's one of my favorite singers. I don't care what anybody says. I think he's a great singer. And uh, I really love this. It's a really, really fun EP to listen to if you're in the mood for it. So that brings me up to number 50. And this is a great record here. It's still sealed. I, I've heard this a lot, though. This is Vandenberg with Alibi. Big out, big, big Vandenberg fan. He's a great guitarist. This has got, uh, you know, Pedal to the Metal. It's such a good song. But this whole album's really solid. Good stuff here. Adrian Vandenberg. Of course, he went on to be in White Snake. There he is right there. Really good album. I, lo I love that cover, too. That's pretty cool. At number 49, another great band. This is Saxon. Innocent is, is No Excuse. Really good album. Um, all Saxon stuff is good. I prefer some of the earlier ones to this one, but I, I still love this record. Really good stuff here. Um, you know, Devil Rides Out. Good stuff here. Raise Some Hell. <laughs> Saxon's just so good. I like every album they've ever done. I'm a big Saxon fan. This is a really good one here, too. I, I like the cover of that one, too. It's on a Parlophone. I guess I'll put it right side up so you can see it. EMI Parlophone. Great sounding record. Good stuff there. Okay, at number 48, I've got some Vicious Rumors of Soldiers of the Night. Really good album here. I remember they actually played in a club here back when I was young, and I was... Uh, probably in my late teens. I missed it because I was too young to get in. It had to be legal aid to, to drink. I was 16, I think. But, uh, yeah, this is Rumors. Really good band. Love this album. Blitz the World. <laughs> Love the Western Front and Eastern Front, the sides. This is a great record. I need to get more Vicious Rumors because I like this a lot. Great stuff here. And Shrapnel. Can't go wrong with Shrapnel, Combat, Metal Blade. All those labels from the 80s are just great. Okay, at number, uh, where I'm at? Oh, 47. Got some uh, Aerosmith with Done With Mirrors. I really like this record a lot. Uh, Let the Music Do the Talking is so heavy. I love that. Um, this is a kind of a heavy, so at the end of their drug phase, and it was kind of all over the place and heavy and a little raw, which I really like. There's the Done With Mirrors. Good record. I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Aerosmith. Especially, I, I prefer their 70s stuff, but I still like this a lot, too. But, yeah, good record there. Done with Mirrors, Aerosmith. All right, at number 46. Now, this one here, I've just got into in the last uh, few months, and it's just, I love it. This is uh, Joe Hasselvander with Lady Killer. Great record. Love this. He's, he blows me away. He was the drummer uh, for Raven for a time. A really good musician. 
I believe he uh, oh, it says all songs written, arranged, produced by Joel Hasselvander. Vocals, drums, bass, rhythm guitars by Joel Hasselvander. Except lead guitar. He does everything with the lead guitar in this album. This album rocks. It is so good. I love it. I fell in love with, with it the first time I heard it. And uh, every time I hear it, I like it more. It's on Pentagram Records. Oops, that's upside down there. Let's see. Pentagram Records, if you can see that. But yeah, this is a great record. I love it. She brings me up to 45. And uh, I really love this artist. This is Scarecrow from John Cougar Mellencamp. A uh, really solid record. Uh, it's not one of my top two or three of his, but it's right right next to those. It's uh, It's got some great songs. It's a little more on the uh, folk country side than the, it's like Uh Huh, which I really was my favorite, which is a little more rocking. But this has still got some great stuff. It's got uh, it was R.O.C.K. in the USA on this, I believe. Small Town. Um, Rain on a Scarecrow is good. Yeah, this is a good album, too. It's, it's really good. Rumble Seat, yeah. I mean, every one of these records in this uh, that I put in these, I don't put records I don't like into these these lists. So, really good. And at number 44, got some Christian metal. It says uh, Soldiers Under Command from Striper. Really great record. I love this. That was such a cool cover, too. Love that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know it's Soldiers Under Command because it just has Isaiah 535 on it, but they're on the go but yeah this is a and on the back it says a great record i'm really a big fan of striper and i'm really enjoying their new record it's killer it's they got heavier a little more raw sounding i really like this album great stuff I'm, i like striper a lot so up at number 43 this is kind of a a unique one here this is carnivore and this is a great record i love this and it is a uh, peter Steele who was in um what band was he in? I forgot. Uh, not I Mother Earth. I always get his band mixed up. But yeah, he. Um, but this is a good record. This is just heavy metal, bordering on thrash at times. Great, just standard heavy metal with, with really uh, sleaze metal lyrics in it. Really cool stuff here. I love this record. Carnivore. And I believe it's. This is a repress. And it's on Road, uh, Roadrunner Records. All right. Up next, uh, yeah, I found out from JC in Miami that this band is from Spain, and a uh, big fan. This is Tarzan. Really good, uh, really good band here. Like this album a lot. Been listening to it quite a bit, and uh, yeah, I, they're a really good band. Really good, just straightforward metal, killer stuff there. Tarzan, Spanish band, great stuff. Okay, at number forty-one. This is a really good one here. This is Oingo Boingo, Dead Man's Party. Love this record. Um, it's just uh, very, <laughs> they just have their own sound, Oingo Boingo does. And I really love that title song. And uh, what else? Weird Science is on here. You know, a couple big hits they have. But this whole album is really a fun listen. Really good uh, album all the way through. Really like it. And there's the label there. Okay, up at number 40. Here's a great one. Wow. This is a Stay Hard from Raven. Another really good album. Love Raven. This is a great album here. Um, I, I love every song on this. <laughs> really killer record. And uh, Raven's kind of a really underrated band. I I'm only have about five Raven albums. I really need to get more. But I love this one. Okay, at number four, 39. Got some uh, Fear No Evil from Grim Reaper. Uh, big fan of Grim Reaper. I've got, I think, four records, three or four records of them. I like every one of them. Uh, very unique, just straight heavy metal with those high vocals. Really good stuff. Yeah, Steve Grummet, the singer. But this is a great record. All their records, I just really like them. I think they're very underrated. Really good band here on RCA. And at number, um, where am I at? 38. Saw this uh, band live for this concert for this album. This is Loving Every Minute of It by Loverboy. Good record. Uh, they're just a solid, solid Canadian hard rock, uh, you know, hard rock pop, whatever you want to call it, power pop. They're really good. I like them a lot. 
it's got, you know, had the big hit, this could be the night, they're valid, but the title song, Loving Every Minute of It's Great, Still the Thunder, you know, Dangerous, Leader Double, this is a good record. I listened to this a lot. I had the cassette when it was out and listened to it a lot back then. Great record. Okay, number 37, some Dead Engine. Great metal band. This band is so good, and this album kicks ass. Killer, killer album. There's the band there. There's the track list. Great, great record. I love this. Kings of the City. Rap and Bloodlust. Man, this album is just aggressive metal. Great stuff. I love that label too. Pentagram Records again. Different label though. Okay, at number 36. Got No Stranger to Danger by Laz Rocket. Great album. This is a, such a good band. You know, they're kind of thrash, metal hybrid but they're so good and this is a great record love it really good band there on target kind of a different label but yeah this is a backbreaker that's so good dreams die hard love that record and then up next i've got another ep this is number 35 don't take no for an answer by odin i love odin um this is a really good ep um solar eye is so good the writer, and um, the cool thing about Odin, the this, this singer and the guitarist here, these two guys here, um, later on went on to form the band Lost Boys, which is one of my favorites. I love Lost Boys. This is heavier, just straight metal, heavy stuff. They were featured in Decline of the Western Civilization Part Two, The Metal Years. Um, really good band. I love Odin. This is the only Odin I have. I wish I had their full length. There's the label there. It's on Half Wet Records. <laughs> Odd label. All right, and at number 34, second appearance by this band. This is a really good live album. Open Fire from Y&T. Love this album. You know, it's got the, the title song, Rescue Me, Go for the Throat, Summertime Girls, the studio on here again, which is weird. Barroom Boogie, really good live album. They're so good. They're, love Y&T. It's on the a &M label. Good stuff. Number 33, another killer album here. Delirious Nomad from Armored Saint. Big Armored Saint fan. John Bush is a great singer. Really good band. I'm still waiting to get their uh, their new album. It might, uh, I ordered it months ago, and my order was actually canceled by Amazon for some reason. I had it ordered through a... And it, so I got to reorder it. Really looking forward to it. But I'm, I love this album. Great stuff. Okay, number 32. The Right to Rock from Keel. Good, good album. Mark Ferrari's great guitarist. Got Ron Keel on here. Uh, Kenny Chasen. Brian J. G great stuff here. I love Keel. Yeah, this is a good. They even do a, a cover of Let's Spend the Night Together, the Stone song, which is pretty cool. On Gold Mountain Records. And at number 31. One of my favorite Japanese bands. This is Loudness with Thunder in the East. Great album. Crazy Nights, that guitar riff is just so memorable. It's such a great song. This is a great album. I love this album. Like Hell, Heavy Chains. Man, this is good. Love this album. They are such good musicians. But yeah, great, great stuff there. Okay, number 30. Some Frankenchrist from the Dead Kennedys. Uh, one of their best records. Uh, Really good punk music. Love the Dead Kennedys. And this is a really good record. Good stuff here. Pretty cool label. Yeah. Great, great punk there. At number uh, 29, got Prince with Around the World in a Day. One of my favorite Prince records, actually. I like this one a lot. Raspberry Beret is probably my favorite Prince song. Um, you know, it's got a lot of good stuff on here. I know uh, Chris Profi thinks this is their be his best album, and I wouldn't argue with it. It's good. It's just, uh, you know, good stuff there. Trippy labels. And at number 28, here's a great record here. JC, Flipside. I know you'll appreciate this one. It's a Southern Accents, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Another great record from him. Uh, man, it's Tom Petty was so good. Love his stuff. You know, it's got uh, Don't Come Around Here No More is a big hit. This is a really solid record all the way through. Good stuff. 
Yeah, we'll pull it out. I gotta pull the whole thing. <laughs> All right, number 27. Some Dire Straits with Brothers in Arms. Amazing, amazing record. Mark Knopfler is a great guitarist. You know, Money for Nothing with Sting on it. Uh, and, you know, they wouldn't get away with that song now, those lyrics. <laughs> It'd be banned everywhere, but it's still a great song. Um, you know, the title song, Brothers in Arms, is so good. Uh, Walk of Life is on here, So Far Away. That's a great one, too. And this is a really good record. Always love this record. And, uh, you know, I, I was just starting to get really into drumming back then. And the beginning of Money for Nothing, I was always, always loved that. Number 26, we got a uh, power pop super group here. It's the Power Station. I love this record. I think it's amazing. It's got Robert Palmer on the vocals, uh, John and Andy Taylor from Duran Duran, and um, Tony Thompson on the drums. And the drumming on this is just killer. Love this album. Of course, they have the two big hits, uh, Bang a Gong, get, get It On with the uh, T-Rex song, and Some Like It Hot. But this whole album is really good. And the drumming on it just drives this record, I think. Really good album here. Like that a lot. And from Power Station, I'm going to uh, number 25 with um, Witch Hunter from Gravedigger. <laughs> a little different, <laughs> but Gravedigger is a great thrash band. Killer stuff here. Um, I don't quite like this as well as their debut, but it's really good. Killer, killer album here. So Gravedigger at number 25. And at number 24, and at one point in my life, this is my favorite album. Uh, when it was out. This is Afterburner from ZZ Top. I still love this. Uh, I, I really think this is a great album. Um, you know, it's a little more synth than most of their stuff. Sleeping Bag and Stages, Rough Boy, Velcro Fly, all four of the singles were good. I saw them on tour for this, and it was amazing. And um, my favorite songs on this were uh, Delirious and Dipping Low in the Lap of Luxury. But my favorite one was always Woke Up With Wood. I just love that guitar riff. It just... It, just energy. Love it. So, Afterburner, number 24. Another great one. Number 23. And this one, at that point in my life, that I had three records that were like my favorites, and two of them are right in a row here. And this is a Center Field from John Fogarty. Great album. Old Man Down the Road is like classic Credence. Um, it's so good. Rock and Roll Girls is good, but, you know, Zans Can't Dance. This is just a great album all the way through. Uh, I saw it on TV. I like that. Mr. Greed's almost a hard rock song. Love that one. Um, of course, the title song. It's, a, it's, a, it's by far his best solo album, I think. This is a really, really excellent. As good as Credence, I think, that album. At number 22, got some Twisted Sister come out and play. Love this record. Um, you know, it's not quite as good as their others, but it's, it's excellent. I love it. I really like... Um, you know, I believe in rock and roll. Killer Be Killed is great. Fire Still Burns. You Want What We Got was always my favorite on here. Um, I even I even like their version of um, Leader of the Pack, just because I know that was a, a song they did early on during the Under Blade Under the Blade era. They always played that live, so it's kind of a signature song for them. But you know, it's it sounds better live when they do it. But still, it's I understand why they put it on a record because they've been playing it for so long. All right. Number 21, and I always butcher the name of this, Kazukoban from Accept. Great live EP from Accept. This is amazing. Um, it's got some great songs. It's got Metal Heart, Screaming for a Love Bite, which sounds so good on air, Up to the Limit, and Head Over Heels and Love Child from Balls to Wall. Those songs are so good. Love it. And Living for Tonight. Really great. Love this EP. Amazing live EP. I put it right up there with Made in Japan for really great live EPs. It's really good. So now start my top 20 and uh, starting it off with a really great thrash heavy metal kind of right in the right in the in-between band. This is Nasty Savage debut. Great, great album. Killer heavy metal here. Love this album, Nasty Savage. There's the back here. Really killer music here. If you haven't, uh, I mean, they're kind of a lesser known band, but this is on Metal Blade Records. Uh, you know, can't go wrong with Metal Blade. Great stuff. And at number 19, now this is pretty low for this artist for me, but I think it's his weakest of his, uh, this era of his music, but it's still a great record. I just prefer his couple albums before and a couple after it a little more. This is Sacred Heart from Dio. Still got some great songs. I mean, this is good. King of Rock and Roll is great. 
the title song, you know, Rock and Roll Children, Hungry for Heaven. Yeah, you know, it's really good. It's Dio. Can, I love Dio. He's one of my favorite artists ever, and this is a great record. And uh, from the Warner Brother, really killer. Of course, it's Dio. No, this is my top 20, so these are my my favorites. <laughs> so up uh, number 18, same thing with this band. This is Theater of Pain from Motley Crue. I really like this, but not as well as their two before or their two after. But it's a great record, too. I mean, stuff like uh, Save Our Souls and Louder Than Hell, Keep Your Eye on the Money, uh, Tonight We Need a Lover, Use It or Lose It. Those are classics. And City Boy Blues, man, I love that song. Probably my least favorite song, Smoking in the Boys' Room and Home Sweet Home, probably my least favorites. But, uh, you know, Home Sweet Home's great. But uh, really great record. Motley Crue, Theater of Pain. You know, I, I like it a lot. I still like it. It's just I prefer their other ones a little more. Okay, up next at number 17, I've got one of the one of the greatest live, double live records of the 80s. Scorpions, Worldwide Live. Great, great record here. Scorpions at their peak of their power. You know, it's got everything from uh, Love at First Sting and earlier. Not, not a lot of their really early stuff, but, you know, their Blackout, Love Drive, and the magnetism, that era of stuff. Everyone knows this record that likes uh, likes them. Killer stuff. Scorpions. Okay. Number 16. This album here, one of my favorite power pop records of all time. I love this album. This is the Hooters with New Nervous Night. I totally love this album. Always loved it. All You Zombies was one of my favorite songs. I love that. But, you know, they, they got the big hits, And We Dance, Day by Day. But all the deep cuts on this are great, which is rare for a record like this. Usually it's the singles that are great. But the deep cuts are almost the best stuff on here, like, uh, you know, South Ferry Road, uh, Blood from a Stone. I really like the song, uh, Where Do the Children Go with Patti Smythe. Really good. Love this album. One of the best uh, of this type of music ever made, I think. I love this record. Okay, at number 15, we got some Black and Blue, Without Love. Love this record, too. It's my uh, least favorite of their four, but it's still one of my favorite records. That's uh, I love Black and Blue. And this has got Bombastic Plastic on it. I love that one. Um, you know, it's it's all really good. Strange Things is killer. Um, Nature of the Beach, Miss Mystery, Stop the Lightning, Title Song, Rockin' on Heaven's Door. Great, great record. One of the most underrated bands. These guys should have been huge. I never got why they weren't because they're they were just great. All right, number fourteen, Wasp, The Last Command. Another very killer record from Wasp. It's not as good as their debut, but this is got some killer stuff on it. Wild Child, Blind in Texas, um, Widowmaker, Fistful of Diamonds, Ball Crusher. Just Wasp, man. I love Wasp. And this album kicks ass just like all their albums. Killer, killer record. All right, number 13. Yeah, 13. And um, sorry, Ron. Ron Haggerty, this isn't higher, but this is Feel the Fire from Overkill. Great album. Great thrash debut. I know they had an EP before this, but this is an amazing record. I love it. I'm a huge... I'm, getting, I'm liking Overkill more and more the older I get. I've always liked them, but I'm liking them more and more. Need to get more. I only have two records of them. This is one of them. And I love this record. Killer stuff. Overkill. And um, <laughs> kind of odd to go to, from Overkill to this one. But this is my favorite album by this artist. And I missed their debut on my last video. And it really bugs me. Because it would have been in my top 20. Um, their, their debut would have. And this is Bon Jovi with 7800 Fahrenheit. Love this record. It's my favorite by them. It really could have been in my top 10, because I love it that much. Only Lonely, I love that song. Um, you know, To the Fire. All the deep tracks on this are, are what make it so good. Even though uh, the singles, which are listed here on the hype sticker, are, are all killer. But this is the heaviest they ever were. They were, uh, this is a heavy record here, for especially for Bon Jovi. This is on Mercury. Great record. I love this one. You know, I like all their, their first four were all really, really good, but this is my favorite. Great stuff. And uh, number 11, one of my favorite records of all time. This is the last one that isn't metal on this. <laughs> this is uh, Citizen Ken from The Great Ken. It's just Great Ken on this, not The Great Ken Band. This is a really oddball for me because I usually don't like 
the synthier sounds, but this one has that. But the songs are so strong on this, and it's I think it's his best album he ever did, even better than uh, Rock and Roll. I love this record. Um, every song I like, I'm in love again, Lucky, you know, uh, they rock by night, Temper Temper. But the best thing on this is the ballad, kind of ballad, whenever. It's a crime that that wasn't a huge hit. I don't. It was never a single, and it's an amazing song. And if anyone likes Greg Kinn at all, check out the song Whenever. You'll see what I mean. Whenever by Greg Kinn. It's just, it kills me every time. I love that song. Amazing. Okay, starting with my top ten. My favorite album by this band. Love this band. Midnight Dynamite from Kicks. This is an amazing record. Uh, Scarlet Fever is my favorite Kicks song. Um, but this whole album is great all the way through. Lie Like a Rug, I love that one too. Just every song on this is good. There's the track list. But yeah, this is uh, Kicks at their best, I think. And I love, I like all their albums, but this is my favorite. Love it. And at number nine, I've got a debut. One of the best guitarists in metal, Vito Brada. White Tiger, Fight to Survive. This album is way heavier, uh, more raw than they were going on. Even though I like their other stuff, this this album has always been my favorite by then. I love it. Um, you know, just all burning hell. I love that song. Every song on this I love, though. This is a great, great, great record. And most people don't know that well on Grand Slam Records. All right, number eight. Rap, Invasion of Your Privacy. Huge rap fan, always have been, always will be. And this has some of my favorite rap songs. You Are In Love, you know, Lay It Down, of course. Uh, I, you Should Know By Now, Dangerous But Worth The Risk. It's solid all the way through, love it. Probably my, I actually like Out Of The Cellar better, but they were so strong last uh, last year that it didn't even make my top 10, which is odd. But this is a really great record, killer stuff. All right, where am I at, number seven. Power of the Night from Sabotage. Love this record. This is actually my favorite Sabotage. I love this album, and uh, it's really good. The song Hard for Love, <laughs> it just sticks in my head so much. I love it. But every song on this is great. Uh, I love this album. Power of the Night, that title song. Man, this is so good. The Florida Man, Sabotage. Amazing, amazing record. Okay, at number six. Metal Heart from Accept. Another great Accept record. Man, they were pumping them out. From Restless and Wild to Boss the Wall to this. I think that's their, their best three. I just love all three of them. Amazing. All, Midnight Mover. Man, that's screaming for a love bite. Great songs. This is a great, great record. Accept of Metal Heart. Amazing. All right. Now, now the top, off to, up to my top five. And this is one of the best live albums ever made. Great, great album. Live After Death from Iron Maiden. If you notice, Iron Maiden is always in my top ten every time. Usually in my top five. And um, they're just great. And this album, of course, everyone knows this. One of the best live albums ever made. It's amazing all the way through. Just killer stuff. Great, great, great record. So that leaves number four. Love this album. Under Lock and Key from Dokken. George Lynch, man, he shreds. He is so killer. I love him. He's one of my favorite guitarists. But this album here, I have so many memories of this album, hearing it so much when I was young. And it's it's just a great record. You know, the, just great, great record. I love this album. The Hunter, I just love that. Man, Lightning Strikes Again. Will the Sun Rise? Man, yeah, I love this. Every song I love. So, number three, this is hard not to put this in number one, but the top two are so good, but this is Kiss Asylum. I just love this. Maybe their heaviest record, along with Creatures of the Night. This album kicks ass. Uh, Eric Carr's a beast on it. Just an amazing record. Um, the deep tracks on this are so good. Stuff like uh, Radar for Love. Secretly Cruel is one of my favorite Gene Simmons songs, as is Trial by Fire. I love both of those. Um, you know, any way you slice it, too. oh man, King of the Mountain, I'm Alive, and you got the three great singles off this, this is just an amazing, amazing record, of course, and I'm a huge Kiss fan, but this is one of my very favorites, love it. 
So that leaves my top two. And for number two, I'm gonna have to show a cassette first if I can grab the right one. <laughs> I didn't have it ready. So number two, the debut from one of my favorite bands, Megadeth. Killing is my business and business is good. And this is the original cover. And then I also, I have the, uh, I'm still looking for the original vinyl on that. So I have this, which is uh, Killing Is My Business, and Business Is Good, The Last Cut, which has the entire album remixed, and then demos, all kinds of stuff. It sounds amazing, great stuff. And this is just an amazing, very unique record. You know, starting out with The Last Rites, Love to Death, it's just great. Uh, every song, mechanics, you know, Skull Beneath the Skin, Chosen Ones. Man, I love this album. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And that just leaves number one. And this isn't even my favorite album by this band, <laughs> but it's it's right up there, and it's just a classic. Spreading the Disease, number one by Anthrax. Amazing record. Medusa might be my favorite Anthrax song, um, but you know, it's got Gung Ho on here, uh, Lone Justice, Stand or Fall, and every song, Armed and Dangerous, Aftershock, AIR, Madhouse, of course, amazing, amazing record by an amazing band. Love this album so much. So, to recap, number one, Anthrax, Spreading the Disease. And number two, I've got Megadeth, Killing of My Business, and Business is Good. Number three, Kiss, Asylum. Number four, Dokken, Under Lock and Key. Number five, Iron Maiden with Live After Death. Number six, Except with Metal Heart. Number seven, Sabotage with Power of the Night. Number eight, Invasion of Your Privacy by Rap. Number nine, Fight to Survive by White Lion. Number 10, Midnight Dynamite by Kix. Number 11, Citizen Ken, Greg Ken. Number 12, 7800 Fahrenheit by Bon Jovi. Number 13, Feel the Fire from Overkill. Number 14, The Last Command from Lost. Number 15, Without Love, Black and Blue. Number 16, Nervous Night from Hooters. Number, where am I at? <clears throat> 8 and 17, Worldwide Live, Scorpions. Number 18, Theater of Pain from Motley Crue. Number 19, Sacred Heart from Dio. Number 20, Nasty Savage. 21, Kazuku Bomb from Accept. 22, Come out and play from Twisted Sister. 23, Center Field from John Fogarty. 24, ZZ Top with Afterburner. 25, Witch Hunter from Gravedigger. 26, The Power Station. 27, Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits. 28, Southern Accents from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. 29, Around the World in a Day by Prince. Number 30, Frankenchrist from the Dead Kennedys. Number 31, Thunder in the East from Loudness. Number 32, The Right to Rock from Keel. Number 33, Delirious Nomad from Armored Saint. 34, Open Fire from Y&T. 35, Don't Take No for an Answer, Odin. Um, 36, No Stranger to Danger, Laz Rocket. 37, Dead Engine. 38, Loving Every Minute of It, Loverboy. 39, Fear No Evil from Grim Reaper. Number 40, Stay Hard from Raven. 41, Dead Man's Party, Oingo Boingo. 42, Tarzan. 43, Carnivore. 44, Soldiers Under Command by Striper. 45, Scarecrow, John Cougar Mellencamp. 46, Lady Killer by Joe Hasselvender. Number 47, Done With Mirrors by Aerosmith. 48, Soldiers of the Night, Vicious Rumors. 49, Innocence, Innocence is No Excuse by Saxon. Number 50, Vandenberg with Alibi. 51, Crazy from the Heat, David Lee Roth. 52, Only the Strong from Thor. 53, Songs from the Big Chair, Tears for Fears. 54, 
Branded and Exiled, Running Wild. 55, Burning Rock from Trash. 56, Welcome to the Real World, Mr. Mister. 57, Listen Like Thieves from An Excess. 58, Feel the Knife, Exciter. 59, Down for the Count, Y&T. And at number 60, Ready to Strike from King Cobra. And okay, there we go, there's 1985, I'll be working on 86. I'll try to get it next week, but it might be two weeks. I don't know. I'm trying to take my time a little more to, so I don't miss anything. So it's it's really a lot of a lot of work to to find all these. So all right, everybody, um, have a great day and have a great weekend and um, stay heavy, stay metal, rock on.